All right, everybody. Hello, welcome. Bienvenidos to another traveling Costa Rica video. Today we're in Ruhr Moser in San Jose. We're going to be doing a walk and talk and tour. This video is by request to see the U.S. Embassy. So right now I'm just getting lunch here in the cafeteria. We're going to do a little walk through this uh, this mall area. Check this out. This bag I've been using. Guys, I love this bag. It's a sling, single point sling bag. It's got room for all my stuff, my drone. Super cool. It's got like a USB port on it right here. Got my big battery in there. I'm going to put a link for that in the description below, guys. This is Casado. This is lunch. So what do we got here? Some steak, green stuff. Yeah, nice. I like it. Beans and rice. Got a coffee. Always need coffee. So guys, if this is your first time joining Traveling Costa Rica here, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe right here on YouTube, of course. And leave us a comment. I always appreciate your comments. Uh, this one's by request once again from a comment, so I'll try to get them in as best I can. So right now we're in Ruhr Moser. We'll talk more about that once we're walking. And this is kind of where we are. So off in the distance there, we're looking north. The town you can kind of see over there is Aredia, I believe. And the airport is kind of like 30 minutes that direction, west and north of here. But we'll check all this out. We'll go down there. The U.S. Embassy is just uh, to the left. Short walk, so we'll go down there. But before we do that, let's check out where we are from the satellite so you can get kind of situated to this area. All right, so a little movie magic and the Casado's gone. Let's do this walk. Guys, Casado's so delicious. I read a lot online. I, I read a lot of people's comments and they say that Costa Rica isn't known for its culinary attractions, I guess you could say. But uh, I think Casado is like the, the thing that brings me in and I can eat Casado breakfast, lunch and dinner. Hits the spot every time. So I don't know what people are talking about, but I'm not a food guy. I'm the guy that travels around. So, guys, we're in Roar Moser. Roar Moser, this is a mall. I think it's called the Roar Moser Mall. If you guys want to know the exact pin for where we're standing right now, leave me a comment and I can send that over. Let's look at the mall from up here before we go walk down to uh, the U.S. Embassy. And I did bring a... Um, umbrella sick of being a silly goose and get all wet so there's a smart fit right over here guys right right along there and i came here before and uh there was a big lineup i think smart fit had just opened and i'm i'm linophobic so i didn't uh i didn't wait in line but maybe one day now over behind there you see those buildings i've stayed in a couple airbnbs over there they're really nice and we're right down near the uh, national stadium as well and the canadian embassy that's why i was here the canadian embassy i think is just a bit maybe 10 minutes further on yonder towards the east that's pretty cool there's a mass part of Manos. it's like a walmart owned supermarket there's a little there's a little one in there i think this is just kind of a, a commercial plaza and there's underground parking here i saw cars underground i don't know how you get there i didn't park underground i got a little wet when i came in there you go so there's some, some cool uh Cool shops, stuff like that. Makeup, hair, eyebrows. There you go. I have eyebrows. The rest of it. <laughs> Guys, is a little bald. Oh, there's an electronics store. There's Clay's Hobby Shop. Radio control specialist. Oh, cool. How do I not see the glare? Look at that car. That's cool, man. Oh, look at they got all kinds of cool stuff here. Check this place out if you're coming through. Awesome. Oh, look, I could ride that one. So here's Correos, guys. Correos is like um, Canada Post or like USPS. It's kind of like the national mail carrier. You can see they got P.O. boxes in there. So if you're staying here a while, you can get Correo P.O. boxes. There's DHL. I find DHL is uh, expensive. There's other services where you can get um, P.O. boxes in Miami. And they'll send stuff down. I find that's cheap for getting stuff from Amazon delivered here. So that's where we're just standing in the food court. It's kind of like in the middle. It's like a castle. I like it. It's really cool. 
So you can see some of those buildings off in the distance there in Roar Moser. Actually, I do believe the one I stayed at one recently was really, really cool. It was a really interesting building. They had a like a library and a gym, and the library had like um, a little phone booth in it. It was kind of cool. Some tax and stuff like that. I don't worry about that. Some more stuff. Beauty. There you go. Barbershop here. Cool. Uh, let's go down right here. So you guys, we're Moser. I did some research because I, I thought that's not a very Spanish sounding name, Roar Moser. So I think if I remember correctly, the guy's name was Eugene Roar Moser, I believe. And he was like half or a quarter German, German ancestry. And he was um, like an architect or city planner or something like that and pretty renowned pretty influential so they named this part of San Jose after the after the guy that's pretty cool and there was uh, and that that led me down some research past where I said how often or how many times have there been like European exoduses towards Costa Rica and it said there's been a few times in history a lot of Germans came here and uh the last 200 years and a lot of other places came to uh, Costa Rica and it led me down learning about I think Monte Verde with um, who are the group of people that settled that anti-war kind of people that came down uh, I think before Vietnam started I don't want to guess I, I feel like I know it but I don't want to say the wrong group so I thought that was cool so yeah this is Roar Moser so here's the road going through now the comment uh, that I received, I appreciate all your guys' comments and I just try to get them in as much as possible. Wanted to uh, see kind of get situated what it looks like here. So this road is always packed and I've walked down here. Actually, I didn't even know the US Embassy was down here. I've walked down this road. There's all kinds of shops, restaurants, and it's a pretty, pretty cool, uh, busy area, but this is how it looks. And when I came off, I, I drove by the airport. I came from this direction. So the airport's back that way, but I came from this way because the, the road kind of dumps you out there. And I'll tell you something, guys, if you're not comfortable driving, uh, man, you might want to get comfortable driving around here. It's kind of just like that push or be push mentality with driving. It's kind of similar to, uh, you know, anywhere I've driven. I've driven all over the world. It's kind of similar, but, uh, it's not as gridlocked right now. It's the middle of the day. I mean, sure, as people start leaving work, going to work, you can get a little spicy dicey. So what's going on around here? What do we got? Oh, Bodegon. Okay, that's a tile place. Cool, cool. There's Monger. There's Monger right there. They sell all kinds of stuff. TVs and motorcycles and everything. Yeah, so I mean, I could barely see it over there. Look at those buildings. That's the Roar Moser. So then right in behind there, the National Stadium. So down this road, you continue going. And if you're interested in going to the Canadian Embassy, it's that way. There's a huge park there. So I just walked through here, guys. Man, it's loud. It's loud here. I just walked through here. They have like shoes. You need like hiking shoes. They have Solomon and uh, some other brands that are cool. There's a, a lizard. That's cool. I like that. Let's go take a picture up there. So yeah, they have um, they have hiking gear and stuff like that in there. But in terms of gear, not not too much. More like clothing and shoes. So now we're just continuing down to uh, the embassy towards the U.S. embassy. And I did drive by the embassy earlier. I mean, it's not, uh, I can see it right now. We'll go, we'll walk up there. I don't know where I can cross the road up here though. Try to figure it out. Pretty sure anywhere, but maybe there's this place that's less likely to get me run over. Where that is, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together, guys. You're traveling with me right now. My travel companion. 
what are we doing here? This this looks good. This looks good. This no, it's not looking good. We got traffic coming through behind. I kind of want to get over there. This guy let me go. All right. Hardio's hardio, but I mean, better than getting run over by a car. So now I'm in the middle of the road. So we should go sometimes, bud. Okay, cool. So gas station right here. Now we are walking east right now. East. So back towards the Pacific coast, although we're not anywhere near it, of course. If you're not too familiar with uh, Costa Rica. To get to Punta Arenas from here, I think it's probably about an hour drive. That's what I just did. I just did it this morning. And it wasn't too bad. There's a couple toll roads. You can probably expect to pay like four bucks, five bucks. But they take credit card at the tolls. You just got to look for the booth that says Tarjeta. And uh, there's not actually anybody at the booth. And you can just pay with your credit card. Just tap it. And the gate opens. And the tolls are like two bucks. I think there's one like a dollar, two dollars, two dollars, and then another dollar or something like that. I don't really keep track. Sure, credit card companies love that. It's like whatever. There's Goyo. They're kind of like that Monge, the green one. So if you see that green one there, Monge, and the blue one, Goyo, you see these everywhere. They are everywhere in Costa Rica. You can get everything there. All kinds of stuff. And man, what is the crossing situation here? I don't know how or where you're supposed to cross. I'm just going to. I'm just going to do it. More cardio here. Oh my god. It's crazy. Alright guys, so here is the US Embassy. I mean, that's kind of what I would expect from the U.S. Embassy to look like. Like Fort Knox, you know? It's not surprising to see it. Just a brutal building. Looks like a fort. Cool. Now, what's going on up here? We'll get another shot of the... Um, I shouldn't say that word around, around the embassy. We'll get another photo of the embassy. Cool. Oh, and I guess too, if you're Costa Rican and watching, that's where you'd get a visa. I'm pretty sure that's uh, a business where you pay them to help you get a visa to go to Canada and the United States, which I don't understand why that's a thing. Why do Costa Ricans need a visa to go to Canada or the United States? I mean, I, yeah, I looked it up and you know, I'm not the state department, so I can't say like what level of security or like what are even are even the criterion for uh visa free travel but yeah i just think there's so many canadians and americans that come down and enjoy costa rica and costa rica is so facilitating of them obviously bring money in that's always good for an economy but yeah, I just think there's so many people here enjoying it, and I'm like, it would be cool if Costa Ricans wouldn't need a visa to go uh, explore Canada or United States. I feel like that reciprocity would be very cool. And there's so many Costa Ricans that I've met who have lived in Canada or United States or have family there, working, professionals. I mean, Costa Rica is a very well-educated populace, you know, and I think... Uh, I just think it'd be cool. It's like a handshake. It's like, hey, so I don't know. I don't know. Who, who do I got to talk to about uh, getting, getting visa-free travel for Costa Ricans to North, North or America? So I hope you guys enjoyed that walk, talking tour here in Roar Moser, San Jose, Costa Rica. Once again, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe right here on YouTube, and leave me a comment, as always. Thanks for watching. Bye now.